No, and I just I just did the best I could with what I had. And, and the funny thing about it is Shane McMahon came up to me at my tryout, and he asked me who did my tape. I said, me and my brother in his living room. <laughs> and he just kind of looked at me like I was crazy. So apparently it was good. It was, you know, a lot of it came together by luck, I will say that. So it was just it, – it turned out really good. And it is awesome that Shane sees it because that, that means that they're kind of passing around. Everybody's getting a chance to look at it like, oh, look at this guy. Look at this tape. That's kind of pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it was. Funny thing is I didn't even know who Shane McMahon was at that moment. You know, I was just being nice to everybody, but I didn't know who Shane was because when he talked about his dad, he called him Vince. And oh. I didn't and I didn't know who Shane was. He was just coming up uh, and starting to work really a lot in the – company and what Shane was doing at that time was he was working for a certain period of time like in each division of the company and when I happened to get there he was working in the studio and he was the one that produced all my vignettes and stuff when I came in we drove around together in the early morning hours in Stamford Connecticut in winter in the freezing weather to cut promos and and, and do the vignettes when I was coming to the WWF that is so cool, and I definitely want to talk about those vignettes in, in just one second. But when you actually kind of break through, and obviously everyone's seen the promo, J.J. Dillon calls you in, when does the the name change happen? You know what I mean? Like, when does Vince kind of sit down with you, and what does he say? Because apparently that's like his thing, right? He he wants to kind of brand you in, in the WWF. We here in the WWF want you to be this kind of thing. Well, yeah, and it wasn't Vince. It was Shane. It was Shane the morning they flew me up to do vignettes. After I was hired and signed the contract, they flew me up to do vignettes to Stanford, Connecticut. And that morning I sat down with Shane, and he goes, yeah, we've been tossing around some ideas for names. Uh, I think we're going to go with Duke the Dumpster Drosy. And uh, that's my real last name. So I was mm-hmm. like, oh, my, my mom's going to be so proud. And uh mm-hmm. Yeah, Shane Shane got to know me pretty quick cuz I have an interesting sense of humor. But he uh he told me that and yeah, they changed the name uh, obviously so they could own licensing rights right. and everything to it. Um but that was it and then we just we just put together ideas for vignettes. Uh he wrote some of them, I wrote some of them and we were off to the races, but he was the one that informed me of the name change. As far as the gimmick you were doing Rocco, the garbage man, before. They obviously like what they saw from the tape. They, they like it. You're comfortable with the gimmick. Were you kind of surprised at all that they didn't really change much? Or were you you thinking that that's kind of the general direction it was going to go? When I came up with the idea, um, I, it all started from just having a name. I was in a fraternity at the University of Miami, and the, the fraternity brothers, one of the fraternity brothers gave me the name Rocco Gibraltar. And I always just saved that in the back of my mind. But eventually, you know, I was just kind of sitting in my room at college one day, and I was, you know, I was working part-time on the independent circuit. Um and I was trying to come up with a new idea and a gimmick and a character. And I, I knew I wanted to use Rocco Gibraltar. So I said, I started coming up with ideas that kind of rhymed. And I, the one I came up with was G-Man Rocco Gibraltar. And I was like, okay, is he going to be a G-Man like a federal agent? Or is he going to be a G-Man like the garbage man? And then I, that's when I decided, I said it would be perfect for Vince McMahon's you know, late 80s, early 90s, WWF. He loves having big blue-collar baby faces, um, you know, and, and having a guy that the working man could relate to. It was perfect, and I knew it would be perfect. And that's when I started working on it in Florida and working on getting it over and figuring out how I wanted to do it. And, yeah, they just picked right up with it, and just all they did was change the name. 